Hello YouTube, welcome back to Saraka. Last time, we were looking for a token and solving a murder. And I think we have to talk to this lizard. Fod, we do! Who I am is none of your business. Smell of the day, oh de condescension. Gotta love it. I heard, Fod, that you confiscated a token. That thing? I thought it might be worth something, but it's just trash. Have it, it's all yours. Fantastic, that was easy. What about the murder? Don't go around asking too many questions, or you might become a suspect yourself. Is that how it works? Well, fuck you, Fod. I found the foot. I found the token, that's great. Uh, plants. The flowers don't really like Fod. Can't blame them. When the guards aren't around, the fountain of the gate is a popular place for young couples to hang out at. Yet the guards don't seem very nice, do they? This is the, uh, gate then. Cool. Door. That's the door of the guardhouse. Visitors aren't welcome. A fresco showing brave spearmen in their last stand against the great snake of the desert. A fresco showing an ancient hero fighting the covetous griffin on his horse. Here we are, out in the desert, presumably. It's said that these flowers change their color in the moonlight. That is quite neat. What's around here? Uh... You suspect you have gotten lost. Whoa! Alright, that wasn't there before. I got lost. An oasis. Well, here I am at the oasis. A fragrant water lily. These are popular with nymphs. I found loon flower seeds. I seem to be finding a lot of ingredients that I don't need yet, so I feel like this could get complicated. Desert frog is using this water lily as cover. Neat. Whoa. Singel's tent. Be welcome in my tent, friend. Who are you, Singel? I am Singel Aegidus, one of the 14 desert shamans. I was born on the island of Iwana, many thousands of miles from here, but that is not relevant. It is here that my path has brought me. I saw a vision of the blue crow, as I first did when I became a shaman. So I knew this path was one that had been waiting for me. Hmm. So you do magic then? A long time ago, when I was young and arrogant, my travels took me to a small village in an ancient country, recently torn apart by water and conquest. There I saw... I saw the savage brutality unleashed upon the weak and the helpless by those who believed themselves to be the chosen, to be better than others, to be without the need for kindness. I saw a land snatched away from its people in the name of half-remembered stories from the past. And all of my magic, all my power, could do absolutely nothing. That sucks. What do you think of Saraka? I came to Saraka when I heard Mayor Zahak had been deposed. I felt that here was a chance to make a new beginning. Instead, we got General G. Unguma, who is really nothing but another face for the same monster. I agree. He tried to convince me to endorse his regime, to give it my spiritual blessing. I told him where, as we shamans say, to stick it. <laughs> That's funny. So you have wisdom, right? I am a mighty shaman, more mighty than you probably realize. I know secrets that many would kill to know. I have power that few can contend with. I have danced with the spirits of the desert wind in the secret places where the sand remembers the sea, and talked to the traveling dead between dream worlds. I know the names by which the stars and moons call themselves, and the ways in which magic flows through the universe. But I know only one true thing. Magic is nothing without wisdom, and wisdom is nothing without kindness. Nice sentiment, but that sounds like uh, you're quite enjoying those ritual herbs. Murder! 
You are asking the wrong question. It takes no great magic to know that he was murdered by the guards, as the people of Sadaka well know. It does not truly matter which guard did the deed, because the order was given by General Umguma, and they know that too. The question is, why was Hashim in the desert? What did he seek? The answer to that question lies in the unspeakable cave, which is where he was returning from when he was killed. What is this unspeakable cave? The unspeakable cave lies in this desert. I can show you the way, but know this. In the unspeakable cave live the unspeakable horrors that none may see, which, as their name implies, may not be seen, lest seeing them may drive you mad. Only at the end of the journey, in the depths of the cave, can the traveler stop being afraid, for if there is an ancient secret, for there an ancient secret is inscribed upon the wall, and the monsters stay away from it. Therefore, once you are within the cave, seek the silence. Huh, well, will you take me there? Did he perhaps update my map? He did. How kind. A bird waiting for its dinner. Ah, how beautifully this bird flies. How elegantly its shadow moves across the sand. It can't wait to pick the skin off your bones. <laughs> okay. Um, that, that's, uh, the tree is especially diabolical. And this one it's, is creepy. Let's, let's do this. No fear, right? No fear. You can't go in there like this. If you see the unspeakable horrors, you may well go mad. Well, so I should go back to Saraka and tell the carpet woman what was said. Murder. Poor Asim. He lost his wife two years ago and now his son. No one should have to go through that. No wonder he does nothing but sit there and fish. Saraka Carpet. You will not regret helping me. Hmm. So what is um what does my scroll of quests say? Investigate, uh find an adapter, find the ingredients, locate the tomb, make a make a cookie. Alright. Carrot leak. Mari do way of opening portent terror crossing the chasm. Oh, bring the dragon's tooth to Dr. Crustum. I can do that. Or oh, that was this way, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Dr. Crustum. I wish I could tell you where to find a dragon that will give you its tooth. I'd go visit it myself, but I've never... I, I've got the tooth. I just, uh... Write your special glue. How do I do that? Scroll... Of recipes. Poke it. Dog food. Potion of jellification. Finger food. Glue. Okay. So I need a repulsive squish leaf. And trout jelly. And essence of Derek. I have no idea what those are. Um Find a repulsive squish leaf. Who do I ask about that? I really don't know. That's somewhat irritating. I can't go in there like this, blah blah blah. I suppose we should continue to explore Saraka. They tell me he was found in the desert near the gate. Yeah. Let's see. What can be done? Wait, there was a way to go over here, wasn't there? Can go here and talk to Muhtar. He was a troublemaker. Oh, wait, I can ask Umguma. That's a clever thing to do. Umguma. What do you know of this murder? Our investigation clearly showed that the individual in question 
was involved with illegal activities and met his end, if we can call him a man since he was also involved in the questionable practice of gender change, as the result of a smuggling deal gone bad. Interesting. I don't get what's wrong with gender change. That's just a thing that happens, I guess. What's over here? Strange people. What do you know of the murder? Hmm. What do you know of the murder? I saw Hashim walk into the desert, carrying a small bag. Such a shame. Mystery. Greatest. Oh, <laughs> that. Yep. Smelled today Alkawa. I don't know what that is. Lamp is totally digging the colorful windows, man. It's not just wax in those candles, man. Well, let's, uh... Fod. Fuck you, Fod. Let's see. Let's explore the desert more. Cactus. A flowering cactus. Pretty, but not very useful. Don't need any stones. I suspect I am lost. Uh, I need your help with wisdom, no murder. Perhaps his death can be made to mean something. I'm going to take a short break to read my objectives. Wait a minute. I had a thought. Alright, let's try this. Go to the unspeakable cave. At the very beginning, we turned on the graphics. <laughs> These are weird noises. <laughs> Alright, we have to find where there's no sound. This isn't it. That's not it. This is it. We've gotten to the end. And... You note down directions to a place called the Isle of Becoming. Hmm. Well, let's go. These are really weird noises. I want to turn it on. Oh, fuck. Oh shit. That was, oh shit. Ha. Well. Let's go to the Isle of Becoming. <laughs> What's here? Pretty music is here. Uh, the landscape is unusual. A strange purple plant. You haven't seen anything like it. Hmm. Oh, the Isle of Becoming. I understand now. It's neither a plant nor a mushroom. The tree is a... blank. You've never seen anything like... These plants look like they belong... It's... Hmm. A swarm of flying. The plant seems quite content. Oh. A huge, magnificent tree, question mark. It's a land fish. It's a beautiful tree-dwelling eel. Maybe it should be called a treel. Maybe it should. Hmm. Whoa, thing. Thalassa. Welcome to the Isle of Thalass of Becoming, Traveler. Smell of the day, a strong wind from the sea. So you are Thalassa. I am called Thalassa. From me all things were born, and to me all things return. I am always dying and always being born. Eternal change is my nature. What is this Isle of Becoming? It is here the future is born. You see its beginnings around you, unfinished, becoming. But it is not here that the future is shaped. There is no fate, and I am not a god. 
If you poison the waters, poison plants will grow. If you abandon kindness, unkind things will be born. If you surrender your future, you surrender this island, and all the th others that could be. That is what you have come here to remember, and to take with you to the isles that were once like this one. Huh.